I just put so much work into this video and I really do I really do think this one could be the one like this one could make my channel blow up Where have I been? And don't worry, we're gonna get to the clothing brand part. Just hear me out for a second. So I uploaded a video that took me four months to make and it was a huge success, at least for my standards. And people warned me not to fixate on the numbers too much because that would put pressure on you. But still I fell into a loophole of perfectionism and was too scared to create any art at all. So that's why I decided to start my own clothing brand at 16 years old. I've always been interested in fashion. Overall, I think clothing design is a great output for creativity and it would just be sick to see someone over the road wearing your shirt. Also, I have one year left in school and then I want to have enough money to fly to America and live there for some time. So for the next few months, I will try different ways to make money, for example, a clothing brand. But how do you even start a clothing brand? Well, it's really difficult because there are so many different ways. The easiest one is print on demand, but I've already tried that and the low customization options don't fit my vision. So I decided to get my own manufacturer. A manufacturer is basically a company somewhere in China or India gonna make the clothing for me so that I don't have to handle production and just everything else. The first thing I did was obviously to design the clothes. So I made this shirt and this hoodie and was pretty satisfied. The designing part was honestly only about 5% of the work, so if you were considering starting a clothing brand for the design aspect, I think you're better off just designing pieces for other people. Okay, so now we are done with the designs actually. Happy, we have this hoodie and we also have this shirt and I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with the designs. Unfortunately, my manufacturer won't be satisfied with these designs because he doesn't know how to make them yet, so we have to do a tech bag. A tech bag is basically a, like a folder full of information about the measurements, the design and the material of the shirt, where you really go into details, where is everything, what kind of designs are there? What kind of inspiration did you take? And then in the end also like provide all of the prints so that the manufacturer knows what they have to do. Now I sent my tech pack to around 100 or 200 manufacturers and made a spreadsheet giving me an overview of how hard they were scamming me. But they all gave me horrendous prices due to my low order volume and custom measurements. So I went for a compromise and decided to use their blanks. But basically for the manufacturer it's way harder to make my custom shirts every time like sue them than it is to him like to use the shirts he can produce in a larger scale because that's cheaper you know that if you order more of something it always gets cheaper so for him that's just cheaper and in the end that's gonna be cheaper for me as well so we're using his blanks so i ordered the sample and it arrived at my doorstep the fabric actually feels nice gotta say the fabric feels nice now let's look at the colors i don't like the black on the gray but this is sick this is literally sick. First try on, we're starting with the shirt so we can work ourselves up to the thing that I'm more hyped about. Okay. This shouldn't be black. This should be brighter. Probably white as well. There's just not enough contrast. Oh my god, it feels so nice from inside. I would like it more cropped. I really think I can work with that. Maybe some improvements here and there, but for first sample, really, really, really okay. Okay, I think there should be some improvements. Firstly, I dislike the color of the shirt and I think that it should be white. Also, the more I think about it, I dislike the print as well, so I'm probably gonna change that up as well. Also, I don't like the cuts of the shirts, so I'm probably gonna get some different samples or something. Okay, so... Listen to me, I've got a new plan, okay? Ignore manufacturers, we're gonna produce the clothing ourselves 
and that is with screen printing. Screen printing is the best way to print clothing and the best thing is that you can do it from your home with not that many supplies so it's probably one of the best options. Right now I'm gonna order the supplies and then in a week we're gonna start printing. Okay, so look at this, this is my press, really professional, right on the fucking, on the box it came in. This is the new design I made, not quite, but um, we're gonna get to this in a bit. And these are like some frames, here is like ink and uh, emulsion stuff, and I'm gonna explain what that does, but now we'll start printing. Okay, so first thing we're doing is the sensitizer, we have added water around half, and now I'm mixing it very well. Let's put the screens out to dry. It's it's <laughs> quite improvised, but this is the final black room. Um, well, this is, but you don't say anything, so we're lifting here to dry and then afterwards we're gonna uh, print actually like print on them not print on the shirt we're burning the screens right now this is a lot a lot of light uh, this entire room is lit by just that light okay the big reveal did i do everything wrong or did we actually do something and this looks completely ash um, one day you're gonna walk around and you're gonna realize <laughs> so that everybody bad. loves you Oh my god, there's nothing. This sucks. Like, actually. One day, you're gonna walk around and you're gonna realize that everybody loves you. This literally just sucks. I don't even know what I did wrong. Like, even the color, this is supposed to be green. <laughs> this is not green. That's actually just frustrating. We're gonna try again tomorrow. I don't wanna do nothing anymore. But this is a quite the annoying process. <laughs> Next and also like last try because my emotion is empty. If this one does not work then basically we're fucked. It just did not work, which was really frustrating because I only had two days left until my plane to Ho Chi Minh City left. I desperately wanted to shoot promotional content in Vietnam, so I really needed the shirt. After thinking about it, I went to my closest printing store and made them print the shirt. And even though we have struggled a lot and still got a lot more to struggle, this is one of the shirts I am gonna be selling. Mm -hmm.